If you're using React, you are definitely familiar with this page over here. I know I am. And that's why I'm super excited to actually show you this page over here. Yeah, that's right. This is the new React Docs page. So in this video, we will take a quick look at the new docs and see what's new in them. And at the end of the video, I will share some of my thoughts about the new documentation. We can access the new docs by going to the beta.reactjs.org. So the React team is currently rewriting the docs. And as the URL suggests, the new docs are still in beta and a work in progress. So just a heads up that there will still be some bugs and missing content. And here at the front page, we can actually see how much content is ready. So for the learn react section, there is 70% finished. And for the API reference section, about 5% finished. So it will still be some time before all the content is rewritten for these new docs. So what's new in the new docs? So let's take a look. So first of all, all the explanations are written using functional components and hooks rather than classes and class-based components. So that's pretty cool because everyone is already using hooks for all the applications or at least for the majority. I know I am using hooks all the time and uh, just rarely using classes. So it's great to have the docs also using the functional components and hooks. Then they have also added some challenges with solutions. So that's pretty cool if you are learning React and learning new concepts so you can test yourself. At least I know uh, when I'm learning something new, it's always good to like quiz yourself and test yourself out so you learn more efficiently. And then there will also be interactive examples and visual diagrams. So that sounds great. So let's take a look and see what they look like. So if we go to the learn React, open it up. And right here, we can see that on the left, we have the navigation and on the right, we have the stuff that's on this page. And right here, we have one of the uh, interactive examples. So this seems to be a code sandbox embed. And if we want to modify this, we can do that by just modifying the code over here and it will update over here. So you can test out your code that way. And then I think here is some examples also about the hooks and functional components. So yeah, it looks like over here. So as we can see, the components are using functional components and also hooks. So right here, this component is using the use state hook and this is also interactive uh, example. So if we modify the code over here, we can see it right over here. So Overall, this new UI and new appearance for the docs is really good looking. I really like it. And one other thing that I actually noticed was that uh, these new docs are using Next.js. And if you have watched some of my other videos, you know that I really love Next.js. So it's great that they have chosen to use Next.js for the new docs. It really speaks for Next.js that uh, the React team chose to use Next.js for the new docs. And as we know with Next.js, the performance of a site is quite good. And I actually tested this new docs site a little bit and compared it to the old docs. And just by like navigating through the links like this, uh, I didn't uh, see any performance like improvement compared uh, to the old site from the new site. So if I click links over here, change pages. We can see that uh, like, like just testing like this, uh, you can't see really much of a difference. And that's probably because they are just now concentrating on getting the content ready. And they are probably not doing any optimizations until just the very end or at least when the content is ready. So that's exciting to see if the performance will improve well, once these docs are out of beta. So what are my thoughts on these new docs? Well, uh, I really like them and it's great that they are rewritten because the old ones are pretty old and it's about time that we have an update for the React docs. And it's always great to have a new version of a site. These docs really look great and modern. And I also love when documentation is not only good and well done, but also pleasant for the eye 
and very usable. So this is for me looking very promising and can't wait to see this out of beta. So if I were you, I would right now go to the beta.reactjs.org and check it out, test it out, see, see how they look and feel. And of course, if you have any feedback for those, you can provide it through GitHub issue that's linked over here or using this anonymous form for higher level feedback. And as always for projects like this one, uh, feedback is more than welcome. So please do check them out and give feedback if you have some. And before you go to check them out, please do hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. It helps out with the channel a lot.